Let's do it. What's up, everyone? It's Jarvis back at it again with the hot seat. Today we have our culture chair, Ryan Bray. How you doing? How we doing? Doing good today. <laughs> Excited to be here. The show is the hot seat. It's a show with hot questions and even harder wings. You ready to take on the hot seat? Let's do it. So same thing like we do all the time. We'll start from left to right, left to right, left to right. All right. Ready? Yeah. All right. First one's gonna be classic, hot sauce. Okay. Don't have the skull level, because I don't got the paper. Right. You ready? What's up with the boneless? You know, boneless, it just, they ran out of, they ran out of chickens, you know? Chicken so, shortage. So chicken, chicken shortage, shortage in San Antonio. <laughs> you ready? Let's do it. That one, the far one. Top left. Yeah. And which one was this? This is a classic hot sauce. Okay, first question. YYP and what got you into it? So KWYP, I joined um, mostly for the networking opportunities. I kind of saw the, uh, it's a little, little heat to it. It's, it's a good little tang, right? A little, little tang. <laughs> um, I saw other people on my team, you know, Scott Maloof, Josue, yeah. Jev, um, you know, doing some major networking within KWYP and building good relationships. And I thought it would just be a great opportunity to kind of build my business in that way, um, as well as, you know, getting to get involved with the KW family, so. Excellent, excellent. That's, that's why I, was, I joined. I was kind of forced into it, but, you know, I love it here. Yeah, did they corner you? Because they cornered me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Eileen wouldn't let me leave uh, Agent Services. Yeah, yeah. Jack Hawthorne and and them got me in the uh, in the conference room and uh, put she, me on the spot. So. I know. She wouldn't leave until I paid the fee. Uh huh. Yeah. What? Yeah. So I love it here. Uh, me too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm saying that on my own, not. <laughs> <laughs> That was good? Yeah. So, what, so wasn't, same with you. You got cornered. Got cornered. Okay. So, you know, I'm here. Months later. Almost a year. Oh, yeah. Dang. Time flies. Yeah. How was that? Was it hot? Good little, like, tanginess to it. It's a good classic hot sauce. You're starting say. off strong then. Yeah. I believe in you. You ready for the next one? Let's do it. Next one is Banji Ranch. Hot pepper sauce. Okay. You see her? Shaquanda's Banshee Ranch. Shaquanda's. All right. I like that name. <laughs> I'm in for it. Let's try it. Another chicken nuggie. <laughs> All right, this is taking it back. What did you love most about Fort Dodge, Iowa? Fort Dodge, Iowa. So if you don't know, Jarvis and I went to the same community college in Fort Dodge, Iowa together for a very brief semester. Mm -hmm. And um, Fort Dodge, uh, what did I like the most? The Dirty Dodge. Man, there was so many great things about Fort Dodge, so just putting one to it, that's just such a tough <laughs> one. Um, Tell me I like the, the the big openness and the like kind of freedom out there. You know, you could hit a back road and just disappear for hours at a time and not see anybody else. So, yeah, I didn't do that. That's crazy. I didn't do that. <laughs> and um, you know, I didn't know that it was so close to a prison. Oh yeah. So, <laughs> I was outside of our dorm room, the building, and you hear an alarm, and I was like, "What is that?" They're like, "Oh, a prisoner escaped." And I was like. What? <laughs> yeah, then we would hear those, you know, like what, once a month? At least or once so, a month. Yeah. <laughs> Middle of the night, you know, got the siren going off. Just make sure the door's dead bolted. Yeah, and then my my building was backed up to the woods, so I was mm -hmm. like, we the first ones to go. And we were next door neighbors. Oh. Yes, it was, sir. That was good stuff. <laughs> Dirty Dodge. I still got I got I think I have my helmet still back in Houston and I got you know, the championship ring from the conference that year. Yeah, I should have brought it for this. Should have. Dang. I didn't bring my hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> that was good? I thought it was tasty. I really didn't feel any spice to it at all. It's got some, like, uh, some flavor, but not uh, there's no heat. There's no heat to no that heat. one. Good job. All right, next one we're doing. 
Cadejo. That's an angry goat. An angry goat. Is it a goat? Uh, I think it's a chupacabra. Ah, that's what it is. Uh-huh. I knew somebody was going to figure it out one day. You ready for it? Let's do it. Cheers. And there is sauce on these. What is your guilty pleasure movie? Oh, guilty pleasure movie. I like timeless classic. I like to watch The Notebook. The Notebook. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Same? Yeah. Well, my guilty pleasure movie? I like Legally Blonde. Yeah. I could see that. Yeah. I thought you were going to say White Chicks. That too. White Chicks is a classic. Classic. I should dress up for them, as one of them for Halloween. We should. We should. Let's do it. I'm down. I'm in. Let's do that. <laughs> 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 all right. We're doing it. It's, uh, it's settled. That one wasn't hot at all. No. Um, good flavor, though. It's tasty. I know. These got good flavor. Mm hmm. I'm feeling it. My favorite one's the next one. This one is Los Caliente. This is Verde hot sauce. Too easy. Too easy. Ready? I got extra saucy. I know, I got more sauce than you. I <laughs> <laughs> mm. At the same time, that's like a, put that on some like Verde enchiladas mm. or something like that, drizzled over the top, some cheese, ooh. We should do a show instead of wings, tacos. Put the sauce on the tacos. The taco test? What do you think? Let's do it. We should do that. Little street tacos. Mm hmm. Instead of wings. Okay. So, what, what's the craziest place you've ever traveled? Um, Bagram, Afghanistan. I was deployed there back in 2011, oh. so it's probably like the craziest place I've ever gone. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. That's pretty legit. So, so uh, can you tell me about it a little bit? Uh, yeah, I was um, a cop in the Air Force Security Forces and deployed out there as a 50 cal gunner team. So I was out there stationed out of Bagram, Afghanistan. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. I respect that. I respect you more. Thank you. Appreciate Even you. more, uh, like, I, I already respected you, <laughs> but, like, the respect all of a sudden, there, you know? All of a sudden, I have your respect. It's already, you know? It was already there, but it's way up here now. I appreciate you. Absolutely, man. I was like, wait a minute. Let me <laughs> clarify what I meant. But that was what good. What about you? Craziest place you've ever been. Mm. I just saw it. Didn't you just go on a cruise recently? I went on a cruise. That wasn't the craziest place, though. Uh, you know what? On this cruise, we went into like an underground cave. Never thought in my life I would do that. You didn't see yourself as an underground cave type of person, Charles? I didn't. I've seen, I've seen some scary movies when <laughs> you, they went under underground, and they didn't come back. So that, a that, lot of those. <laughs> there's a lot of those. Girl. That was me. And like, there's bats flying around inside, so... It was pretty legit. You ever been to Natural Bridge Caverns here? No. <laughs> you should go check it out. Is that underground? Yeah. Ah, they just opened up a whole nother section. Yeah. It's been super safe. I've been there like 10 or 11 times. It's always 60 degrees down there too. And it's cool. It's cool down it's there. It's cool and nice. You ever, you ever uh, see the, uh, what's the pattern in scary movies? Like. <laughs> <laughs> it's the. <laughs> the black guy always the black dies guy first. never comes out. <laughs> So I was like, oh, yeah, I mean, I'd be cool. willing to risk going with you. <laughs> yeah, because I would die first. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I will be gone. They're like, where's Jarvis? I died first. <laughs> yeah, plus, I, I wouldn't be the one like, oh, you heard that? Let's go check it out. I'm Not already, you? I'm already in He's the like, car. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I'm gone. I'm in the car already. <laughs> I'm all for it. Well, I'm, let's go. I'm down for the caves. Let's do that. Let's go. I, I will, I'll trust you. We're gonna eat the tacos in the caves. 
<laughs> yeah, we can do that. The tacos in the caves. I think the, the food. The food might attract animals. <laughs> the bats. The bats. <laughs> the food might attract the bats. So that was that was good. That was tasty. I can see why it was your favorite. They got some good flavor on these. Next one. It is ghost pepper hot sauce. It's from India. You ready for it? Let's do it. It's not bad. Boot Jokalai. That's what is this? Jolikai. I don't know. See? You're on top of it. Make sure you get all that sauce. I'm trying to. <laughs> all right. You're stranded on a desert island. You can only take three things. Mm. What are those three things? Oh, I mean, you gotta go with like the basics, right? Your iPhone. <laughs> a charger. Okay. And a machete. Where are you gonna plug it in at? Figure it out. <laughs> Get a coconut. Put it in the sand. With some sticks. I YouTube that before. Just in case on the cruise we crash and strand it. I was just thinking the charger for the wires. How are you gonna charge your phone? You don't need to. You're gonna make that one call, send out that one SOS off that iPhone, okay. and then you're just gonna wait. That was a cheat code. <laughs> <laughs> it's 2023, Jarvis. That's true. Dang. All right, so have you seen that show, Naked and Afraid? Tons. Do you think you can survive on that? I don't know, man. I. That's tough. I don't know if I could deal with somebody else's mental breakdown out there while they're naked and afraid. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't. I just think it could. Uh, there's a lot that could go wrong. I don't foresee myself out there in the wilderness naked like that ever. It's tough. So, yeah. Look, like they're just. Yeah, I like shoes. I'm, really, I'm a really big fan of shoes. Big fan of shoes. Yeah. <laughs> I could probably last like ten hours. <laughs> ten hours. <laughs> Yeah. Outside? Outside, because once the bugs start biting, it's a wrap. Well, and they do all sorts, like they do like rainforests with bugs, and then they do deserts. So I just don't think any of those sound great. The rainforest gets cold at they night. Got, they got the snakes in the rainforest and jaguars. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you could take on a jaguar, though. Take on a jaguar? You could, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I am pretty quick. <laughs> no. I did. Wow, oh, we digress. We digress. Yeah, we digress. Disregard that, guys. <laughs> Next one, we got the mushroom mayhem. So, when you did mm -hmm. the last challenge, you said there was like a turning point, right? Mm -hmm. So this it. This is it. This is the one. The red cap. It's the transition. Transition to. Sauce. Yeah, kind of hot, and then... Okay, this one says triple X hot. Triple X hot. I don't have the... I wish I had the skull units for these things, but... I do not. You ready? Born ready. I think you got it. Mm. <coughs> it's not hot, right? <laughs> it's good like one of those like vinegar forward hot sauces, right? Mm -hmm. you need more sauce. Oh, no, more sauce. <laughs> more sauce, they say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. Wait, you gotta ask the question? No, you ask the question. I'm just gonna sauce up the rest of them as we go. I don't wanna... All right, so tr truth and dab. You don't, you don't gotta... You can sauce me up too. That's good. <laughs> Sorry, you got a little five drip. That's cool. Okay. Truth or dab? What is truth and dab? Oh. What is your hidden talent? My hidden talent. Yeah. Um. 
I guess I'm somewhat of like a social comedian or social chameleon. I can fit into any situation and kind of um, mirror match, fit other people's personality types, and really just you know build rapport with people, make people feel really comfortable. Um, a lot of people tell me that they felt like they've known me for a long time, and we've only known each other for a short period. So I like that. I feel like I got the same thing. Cause I can get along with anyone. Mm -hmm. So well, I wouldn't say that. I don't necessarily think I can get along with anyone. Uh, you, can, <laughs> you can fit in the group. In, in, in any situation. In yeah, any I can situation. fit in any situation. Yeah. So just like get along with anyone. Um, no, At first. Gonna be, no, there's going to be those people that <laughs> I just don't get along with, and that's fine. I feel you. Forget them, people. Yeah. If they're watching. We Forget them. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> we love you. We love you. <laughs> All right. What about you? I just answered. That's, so you just said you... I mimicked everything you, you did. You mirror match mirror my you. answers? Yes. Yeah. All right. God. Yeah. Okay. Did I? Have I? Yeah. All of your answers. It's fine. All right. All right. <laughs> we'll not do that anymore. He's an original. Yeah. So, the rest, we're going to add sauce to everything. That's fine. Let's do All it. Right. And then on the last one... On the right, I'll let you... On the last one, I think we should... Add all the sauces together. No, you're tripping. <laughs> Got suicide on the last one. What do you think? There's no chance I'm doing this. <laughs> There's no chance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, you got, you got to. Like, I'll get ill. You pour those. Okay. On the next. Uh, I mean, it, it's not bad. Even like, if we put them all on. <laughs> no, yeah. no. You got, you got to do it for the, for the people. The one in front of me. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this one's long, so I gotta get the little over the whole thing. Oh. This is the, you know, this is the last dab. This you said like, you wanted to add them all to, you said you wanted to add them all together, so what's a little more sauce matter? That's true. Well, okay, you, instead you of. You sound a little scared. No, no, never that. Never that. <laughs> All right, if we had to choose any other one to add to the last one, would you would you choose one? Yeah. Um, one? Probably the second one, because I feel like the second one might cut the heat a little bit. This one? Yes. Yeah, you just don't like my lot. Yeah. <laughs> That's true, because this one is see, called ranch, so we got to... It has to be after the red cap. Oh, oh. No, no, no. <laughs> Let's try. Right. Let's let's get through these. Okay. So and then, because I haven't just, I haven't gotten these yet. So okay. maybe I really like the second to last one, and I feel like that's what you have to put on yours and mine. All right. Ready? So this one is the uh, angry goat pepper. It is the mermaid. The dreams of Calypso. Yeah. Super hot mm. Caribbean style hot sauce. Yeah. So you, this, you we'll see. We'll see how you take it. Right? Oh yeah. A lot of sauce in mine. I was making sure I sopped it all up. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What is the craziest thing you've seen as a police officer? Oh, man. So we'll go way back. Uh, what was it? It was, I may get the dates wrong, June 23rd of 2010. I was posted as a patrol officer in Anchorage or Joint Base Elmendorf Richardson, and a C-17 took off from our um, runway because I was in the Air Force. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting here watching it take off, and they were practicing for the air show, and they just kind of tipped over and crashed right on base. Really? So we had yeah, so we had a plane crash right there on base. Was someone there? Uh, five people were on board. I mean, obviously someone was in it, but did they? Yeah. No, yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. Jeez. Well, to answer my <laughs> side of the question, I get you with these good. I get you with these good answers, man. He said there was a plane. Yeah. So there was a plane, and it just. So I wasn't. Yeah, in, um, I wasn't an officer or anything, but I guess my craziest thing I've experienced in football. I guess I can add. It happened to me. So I was uh, running the ball. I planted to cut left, 
and a guide dough straight at my shin. So for an example, my shin straight and it went just like this. That's the, terrible. The wrong way. <clears throat> this one's hot. Is it? There's a little heat to this it. This is the one that really gets I got gets it all people. over the front of my tongue. <laughs> it's hot. This is the one that gives me. So the, yeah, I broke my, broke my shin, uh, complete break. Had to get a, a rod and uh, three screws in it. Yeah. I still got the scars on uh, my right leg. And you can see where the screws were. But they're all out now, except the rod. You took them out yourself? No. It's good. The one on my ankle started to surface by itself. Oof. So you just see a big whelp on my, arm, on my ankle. And then I was like this, and then it just... And the doctor's like, yeah, we need a emergency surgery. So, oh, good. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> but it didn't affect me. I played like six years after. So. That's six good. years more. That's wild. Yeah. Some people break their legs like that and they can never play again, don't really recover. And It, it depends on how it breaks. I mean, yeah. my, my break was pretty clean. That's good. So I had a teammate, same injury. His, his, it was like all jagged. He never played again. Yeah, I think to this day it still bothers him. It's it's brutal sport. It's tough, yeah. Yeah. So mermaid was hot. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> yeah. You don't get the warmth to it, yeah. All right, so the next one is called the bomb. The bomb. The bomb. You ready for that one? The bomb. The bomb. Let's do it. Let's All Wait, do we need to add more sauce, or did we already? Yeah, already. We're good on the sauce. Uh, all the way up. All right, all right. <laughs> okay, this one's gonna make me cry. <laughs> what is something you glad your mom doesn't know about you? <laughs> She's gonna watch this. Yeah. I don't really think there's much that my mom does, like really nothing my mom doesn't know about me. Um, I got all. Um, I mean, no, like she's, so my mom's pretty smart, right? She caught me at pretty much everything I ever did. So <clears throat> if I was doing it before she caught me, it was, you know, it was already kind of too late. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't really have a good answer for that. No. My turn. I threw a party uh, senior year after um, a football game. My mom and my stepdad were at a casino in Louisiana. And it was, it was supposed to be a few friends that came over, but it, it turned out to be like, like, like a movie type. Raider, and uh, she doesn't know that. Damn. Until now. <laughs> Going for the water. <laughs> that was hot? There was a little heat to it. Mm? <laughs> I don't think Scott had water at all, or anything oh. to drink. I don't care what Scott did. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot mine, so I'm, I'm gonna tough it out. You want one? No. I can get you water. It's too late. All right. You ready for the next one? Yeah, what do we got next? Okay, this one is called Taco Vibes Only. Taco Vibes Only. It's on extreme danger. Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You ready for it? Your eyes are watering. Oh, yeah, I'm crying. <laughs> <clears throat> you want to add more? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have done that. Hmm. The what? Touch my lips. Uh oh. I don't know which one I touched my mouth with. Do what? Oh, I'm pouring tears over here. <laughs> okay. Okay. See, I'm one of those people though, like, so I, I, eat, I like my Thai food really hot, so I'm slurping that soup, and I'm just crying into the soup, yeah. and get that extra salt going. Oh yeah. You ready for a question? If you could have a romantic dinner with a famous person, dead or alive, who would it be? Oh man, um, 
Marilyn Monroe. Oh, I'm just <sighs> jealous. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But like, JFK is Marilyn Monroe. Oh, for sure. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, that's what we were all thinking. But mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, for sure. I think I would choose Anna Nicole Smith. She was okay. like the modern day Marilyn Monroe. Or Helen Marin. You know what that is? She's an actress. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's, I did. I touched my eyes. With your hands? With my hands. Stay away from me. It's this one. It, it, it burns? A little bit. Oh, we're blind now. <laughs> All right, we got one more. Wait, 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 ah. wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Okay, now that you tried everything, we get to add one to it, not this one. Wait, none of these. Let's do the red top one. You wanna do the red top? (laughs) You wanna do the mermaid? No. No? (laughs) All right, let's go. (laughs) Well, I gotta go with the mushroom mayhem. Yeah. Love for mushrooms. Put something on there? Yeah. Yeah, I put like three drops. <laughs> what? <laughs> you want to put more? I mean, you can if you want. It's all you. On both of ours. Yeah. All right. All right. This, this is the one I wipe my face with. <laughs> uh. Let's do it. Oh, uh, I was born for this. This is the last dab plus mushroom mayhem. And there's a question with this? After we eat it. Oh, boy. I'm sweating back here. Ooh. Okay. That was like ketchup. Ooh. You spoke too soon. Shouldn't have breathed. (laughs) Okay. Last one. What is the most profound and most eye-opening experience you've ever had? Most... Uh, This right here. Whoa. No. um, Most profound and eye-opening experience I've ever had. Um, <coughs> he's dying over here. Oh. <clears throat> so I worked at um, probably the I worked at the felony probation office up in Anchorage, Alaska, mm-hmm. and I got to see people kind of like from all walks of life, <coughs> from all like monetary statuses. All, all ages and races kind of just going through it and going probably through the worst time of their lives. Mm-hmm. And uh, just kind of like super humbling and kind of made me realize, you know, like how great, I'm not crying because I'm ta- telling the story, oh, okay? Yeah. I'm crying because it's hot. Yeah, the more you um, Just how great I have it, right? And then like when, you, when you're down and when you're out, like it could always be worse. There's only really like one situation or one choice that some of these people made that I may have not made. Mm-hmm. So just um, by just being around that and having having compassion for those people, yeah. Awesome. That's dope. You all right? No. no. This is horrible. <laughs> for me, my, ex- my eye-opening experience, I was in eighth grade. Eighth grade uh, is when the Super Bowl was in Houston. Um, I was selected by the NFLPA. Um, to go to like Radio Row um, the week before the Super Bowl. So my coach took me and I met like all the Hall of Fame, a lot of Hall of Fame football players. And then I think it was that Super Bowl was the Patriots 
and the Panthers. So I got to meet some of the players. That was a Tom Brady, I think maybe second ring. One of his many. Yeah, I met him <clears throat> that week, and uh, from then I was like, you know what, I could, I can play on this level, so that's what I focused on. Very cool. Yeah. You did good, man. You did all right. I made it. I didn't tap out. We're still. I don't think anyone's tapped out chugging yet. Chugging along. There's been like a few times where people try to tap out, but you can't tap out in this. Yeah. Yeah. That last one was a little bit hotter than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it's the last dab. That one was real hot, though. That's the one that really like. Because I think this one like opened you up. Yeah. The and bomb that is the. One, that second one. Or third the bomb one is the one who gets everybody. Yeah. Uh, That's what started the crying. <laughs> This was good, man. This was good. So what's going on with YP? What's going on with you? Um, so as far as like our next event with YP, we have our um, our community event coming up, Haven for Hope. We're going to be going to um, their food bank there at Haven for Hope and possibly preparing lunches or helping out in the pantry there. Um, and you can sign up on our website, which is kwypsa.com. That's our that's our next one. It's on uh, 20... June twenty seventh from second June twenty second from ten to two. All right. <laughs> I'm not, I don't even know what day it is right now anymore. <laughs> yeah, you did good, man. I appreciate oh. it. Uh, boogers all over the house. Oh yeah, I feel you. And you've done this how many times now through? This is ten. No, this you are a sucker for pain. Scott, you haven't tried the, the these are these are the ones you tried, but we got a whole new set of flavors. We got a new season. <laughs> so <laughs> Alright, we got a whole new set of flavors for you. Alright. Woo! Alright, you got to go to lifetime, take a shower. I can I live right here. Oh what do I have to go to lifetime? <laughs> Oh man, that was good.